squire hood. Now, the preparation to be a holy and noble servant leader provided at DeLone Catholic High School. Your squirehood starts at the Fall Open House and Scholarship Competition. Prepared to lead, prepared to serve, prepared for life. Join our faith-centered community at DeLone Catholic High School, a school that reinforces your family's Christian values. Our award-winning faculty and challenging extracurriculars promote development of the whole child so that each student graduates prepared to lead, prepared to serve, and prepared for life. Hi everyone, thank you for joining us here. We're doing, sorry, I forgot to change a graphic out from last night. I was telling you to stay tuned for the, the senior field hockey um, tournament, but it's actually the, the senior varsity boys soccer night will be coming up after this bonus feature. Um, we, we, we are here early, so we wanted to make sure that we were able to live stream the junior varsity game prior to tonight's uh, senior boys soccer match and senior night festivities. We also have um, future Squire nights here for the the kids. So we are going to turn things over to the PA. Um, I may give you some announcement during halftime or timeouts. We'll see how things go, but we will not have any commentary. So I um, hope you're enjoying this bonus stream of the um, junior varsity boys soccer and then that you will come back and see us for the varsity night varsity senior night festivities as well as the varsity boys game against Littlestown so we'll be back in a little bit I'm gonna let the PA announcer take over um, they should be getting ready to start here in about 30 seconds or so so we will start things off when they're ready.
Go for the Squires by number 33, Noah Walter.
Another goal by DeLone Catholic, number 33, Noah Walter. Two to nothing, Squire.
concession stand has hot dogs and pizza ready, please be sure to visit and spend all your money at the concessions tonight. Supports the Lone Catholic athletics and activities. Thank you. Goal by Squires number one, John Keeley pushes the score to 3 0. Two minute warning.
Goal by Squires, Nico Scamadello pushes the score to 4-0, Squires. Tonight we are hosting future Squire and Squirettes K through eighth grade. If you have come into the stadium, be sure to visit with Miss Amy and Miss Julia at the table just in front of the bleachers. Uh, sign up for door prizes. Future Squire and Squirettes. Also, be sure to check out the concession stand, pizza, hot dogs, and goodies. And 50-50 drawing. Be sure to get your tickets for 50-50. We will draw a winner at halftime of the varsity contest. 50-50 is now available uh, near the admissions gate. I want to thank those of you who joined us for um, the bonus live stream of the Junior Varsity Boys Soccer Game tonight. Uh, we are going to hope you'll stick around, share the link, go on Facebook, share the link, or let people know that the Varsity Game will be um, live streamed. That is our feature tonight, so we will make sure to get the senior night coverage on, so you want to share that with friends and family. and. Otherwise, we will be putting up um, some information. We're hoping to have someone stop up um, for the varsity game to help us with some commentary and do some background for the soccer players. Um, Mr. Smith is here, so he may be able to help with some of the students' names. But, um, you know, that's we're going to do the best we can with this. Soccer isn't quite our strong suit up here. and, and we want to do a shout out to Tony and George and Mike um, who are normally up here with our football crew. As you can see up on the screen, um, we have some upcoming live streams that hopefully they'll be back in to join us for some of those. They'll definitely be here for um, the varsity football. That'll be Mike Knoll and Tony Weaver who will take back over control of the mics. We also want to thank our student helpers who've been volunteering and helping us with these events. Um, so we appreciate you 
you know your understanding that we're working on a skeleton crew and if anybody is interested in volunteering to work with us for upcoming events or different events throughout the year the information is on the screen right now you can reach out to w s m i t h that's william smith so w s m i t h at delone catholic dot org so you can reach out to mr smith and i am going to put some information up i think that's the tax credit program kids are getting ready to come back on the field so we're going to go over a little bit more of this when um when we're between games and then we'll touch base again probably half time for the varsity game maybe we can get some of the um, admin from downstairs who are here the athletic directors here um, Reverend Rudolph and uh, there may be some other people joining us that can give you more about things going on at school so we're going to turn things back over to the PA announcer thank you again so much
One minute remaining, one minute. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Nice job. Squ uh, bolts from Littlestown, JV, and also our Squires, we'll take a brief opportunity to warm up and prepare for our varsity game. Be sure to visit our concession stand, homemade pizza, hot dogs, and snacks. Also, 50-50 is still up and running. Get your 50-50 tickets that will be announced uh, when it will be selected at halftime of our varsity game. Stay tuned. Squire Hood. Now, the preparation to be a holy and noble servant leader provided at DeLone Catholic High School. Your Squirehood starts at the Fall Open House and Scholarship Competition. Prepared to lead, prepared to serve, prepared for life. Join our faith-centered community at DeLone Catholic High School, a school that reinforces your family's Christian values. Our award-winning faculty and challenging extracurriculars promote development of the whole child so that each student graduates prepared to lead, prepared to serve, and prepared for life.
Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in here. We're going to get started soon. The, the teams are out there on the, the, um, the field warming up, so we will be with you in just a little bit.
played by a senior. I'd like to recognize uh, the Littlestown High School Gold Soccer Seniors as well. Uh, tonight, playing for Littlestown, a senior, Christopher Meekins. Number seven, Dempsey Miller. Number 10, Leo Guzman. Number 15, uh, uh, Alexis Reyes. Number 18, Fahad Khan. Number 19, Jason Wang. Number 26, Nathan Snyder. And number 27, Matthew Denault. Congratulations on your careers at Littlestown. And tonight we'd like to honor our senior, Fernando Salazar. He is here tonight being escorted by his parents, Gino and Sarah. Fernando has been a varsity soccer player for all four years of his time here at DeLone. He's played soccer since he was four years old. He's participated here in track and field for three years. He's a member of the prom committee and the sports advisory committee. His future plans, he hopes to continue his soccer career in college and pursue a career in business. <laughs> he has a special thank you out. Uh, he would like to thank and give special thanks to my parents who tried their hardest to keep me and my siblings happy even when times were hard. You continue to make sure we are happy. I love you guys. And a special thanks to my uncle uh, Jorge, who helped develop my skills to play soccer. Without him, I don't believe I'd be where I am today. Thank you to everyone who has cared and supported me throughout the years. It has been amazing, and I will surely miss everything about it. Let's give a big round of applause for Fernando Salazar. Another great song here on Game Time. Squire Nation, sportsmanship is a vital part of athletics. During the contest, if you see someone using poor behavior, please notify facility personnel. Sportsmanship is of utmost importance, and everyone should enjoy the contest in a fun and healthy environment. Thank you for your cooperation. More music is coming up here on Game Time. The Lone Catholic Squires are all in. All is fine. We back the squires. I get those goosebumps every time. I need the time. Throw that to the side. I get those goosebumps every time. Yeah, when you're not around. Throw that to the side. I get those goosebumps every time. Yeah, when you're not around. Throw that to the side. Yeah, when you're not around. Throw that to the side. Yeah, when you're not around. Throw that to the side. Yeah, when you're not around.
soundtrack is game time. Mark your calendars for DeLong Catholic's Fall Open House and Scholarship Competition. It's on Sunday, October 22nd from 1 until 3 p.m. Meet the teachers, learn about extracurricular opportunities, and tour the school with our Squire Ambassadors. Eighth grade students can choose to compete for a merit scholarship in either essay or quiz bowl categories. We look forward to welcoming you to Squire Country. Always the best music here at the Lone Catholic High School. It revs you up. This is game time.
with another great song here on Game Time. The Lone Catholic Athletics wants to remind you that good sportsmanship is one of the primary purposes of educational athletics. Our student athletes recognize the judgment calls by officials, coaches themselves, are made in good faith and should be respected. Spectators can support both of these teams by refraining from derogatory or demeaning comments and cheers today. We hope that you will enjoy the game and support the students in a positive and sportsmanlike manner. More awesome tunes are coming up here on Game Tag. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to JT Flaherty Field on the campus of DeLone Catholic High School for today's varsity soccer contest between the boats of Littlestown and your DeLone Catholic Squires. Regardless of the outcome of today's game, we ask that all spectators consider the time and effort that each of these young student athletes have put forth to represent their schools. The purpose of this activity is to provide a positive learning experience and opportunity for personal growth for the student athletes, officials, and spectators. We ask that you assist in the promotion and achievement of good sportsmanship by taking personal responsibility in keeping this contest at a high level of fair, clean, and wholesome competition. No handheld signs and or banners, noise makers are permitted. Any spectator by their actions or behavior interfering with this contest will be removed from the stadium. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. In case of emergency, please use either the Delone Avenue exit or the South Street exit in the direction of the school building. In the event of sudden cardiac arrest, the closest AED can be found on the sideline with our Delone Catholic athletic trainer. And now, let's prepare to meet our starting lineups. First, for the bolts of Littlestown. Number one, a senior keeper, Christopher Meekin. Number three, a junior, Carter Owings. Number seven, a senior, Dempsey Miller, captain. Number eight, a freshman, Victor Guzman. Number nine, a junior, Dylan Smith. Number 10, a senior captain, Leo Guzman. Number 13, a sophomore, Kyle Kaufman. Number 17, a junior, Ian Welty. Number 26, a senior, Nathan Snyder. Number 27, a senior, Matthew Denolt. The Bolts are coached by Brett Powell. And now for your Squires of DeLone Catholic High School. Starting in goal, number one, a sophomore, Nick Holtz. Number four, a junior, J.P. Groves. Number seven, a junior, Angelo Salazar. Number nine, a junior, Nolan Cruz. Number 10, a junior, Michael Carter. Number 17, a senior, Fernando Salazar. Number 18, a sophomore, Braden Gervasi. Number 19, a sophomore, DaCosta Weibel. Number 24, a junior, A.J. Niedler. Number 36, a freshman, Max Holtz. Number 39, a junior, Ethan Sevenson. The Squires are coached by Austin Groves. We also like to have a Huge round of applause for tonight's officials. This week is the PIAA uh, official recognition, recognition week, and uh, we know there's a shortage out there, and so we appreciate our officials here at tonight's contest. Give them a big round of applause. Let us 
prepare our hearts for prayer and then our national anthem. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we pray. Gracious God, we're thankful for this beautiful night that you've given us for this contest between the Bolts and the Squires. Lord, we know on the field we will be competitive but clean. Off the field will we be friends and colleagues and fans that will appreciate the efforts of both schools. We ask for a healthy contest for all involved. May you be with us throughout the night. And it is in his name we pray, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. Let us prepare our hearts now for our national anthem. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. Just a reminder, we still have 50-50 opportunities going on at the table here in front of the, of the uh, stand, so get your 50-50 ticket, tickets. We'll draw a winner at halftime. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to J.T. Flaherty Field here on the campus of Lone Catholic High School. I'm Bill Smith, um, actually joined by a couple people from, uh, from the DeLone community. Uh, Mr. Mr. Schmidt, thanks for having us. Mr. Appreciate Trillo. It. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate to be uh, appreciating you having us. So uh, really looking forward to walking through the game here tonight with these guys. So we are, uh, my name is Brandon Chirillo. I'll be uh, walking you through and guiding you through the game here tonight. And uh, we got senior night here. And uh, I know the uh, lone senior on the, on the field, you're going to see him out there, number 17, Fernando Salazar. And uh, so we'll, we'll be hopefully be looking for some good things out of him in the backfield. And uh, we're getting ready for our opening kick here on the soccer pitch at JT Flaherty Field tonight. And... Uh, just real quickly introduce you to our starters here. We have uh, starting in goal for the Squires is uh, Nick Holtz, the starting backfield. It's number four, J.P. Groves. Number 17, Fernando Salazar, as I was just talking about. Number 24, A.J. Niederer. And number 36, Mac Ho Max Holes will be in the on the back. Midfield's going to be number 18, Braden Gervasi. Number 39, Ethan Sevenson. Number 10, Michael Carter. And number 19, DaCosta Wivel. And then up front, we're going to have number 7, Angelo Salazar. And number 9, Nolan Cruz. So we're off here and running against the Littlestown Thunderbolts. If you were tuning in, we did have the JV game on earlier where the uh, the Squires won six to nothing. They it played great, didn't they? They did. That was one of the best showings for the JV team early, uh, this season, I think I've seen. They did a really nice job. They played with a lot of energy. 
played really well as a team today as well against the JV team of Littlestown. So we got a goal kick here for Littlestown. Put in play. go. Delone's gotten control of the ball and maintaining control quite nicely. Oh, nice shot there. What a good save. Littlestown's going to bring it up the field. Try to see if they can get things flipped around here. We'll see how Delone's defense can hold. There's Salazar. All right. Good movement there. There's Nolan Cruz, number nine, bringing the ball up the field for the Squires. Looking for some teammates. Nice dump into the corner there. Oh, nice cross there by Nolan, but getting cut off by the defense. There's Michael with a steal. Oh, and a good shot. Just misses top right corner. That'll bring up another goal kick for Littlestown. I think it nipped the, the crossbar there. It, it was. It didn't miss by it much. It was well played. Yeah, it was. And the goalie Meekin looks like he has the length to, to get to the top. So. Yeah, he he, ha he definitely has a lot of the uh, a lot of the frame covered at his size. So ball placement is going to be really crucial for the Squires tonight. Good play by J.P. Groves there in the backfield, denying that pass into the offensive zone for Littlestown. All right, that's out on Littlestown, so that's going to be Squires throw-in. Nice big throw-in by Groves there. It'll be another throw in for the Squires. All right, nicely placed throw in there. There's Angelo with possession. Back to Cruz. It's a good cross there but defended nicely by Littlestown. Drop back to Groves. There's Fernando bringing it up the field for the Squires. Over to his brother, Angelo. Ethan Sevenson there on a nice rush. Oh, and a good shot on goal. Stopped by Meekin. Yeah, I think Ethan missed all of last year with a, a broken leg. He did, and we've got a, we've got another injury for the Squires today. You notice that uh, J.P. Groves has moved into the de defensive backfield here this game because of uh, uh, Vlad Koich's uh, injury earlier this week, I believe. He has a broken foot, so he's unfortunately sidelined for right now, but... The nice thing is the Squires have some position flexibility where they can kind of flex and uh, make some, hopefully make some substitutions in a way that they can stay stay uh, competitive in there in the in the defensive backfield. We'll see Fern bring it up the field here. Go Gab, go Gab. Gervasi playing nice tight defense there. All right, and there's Nick Holtz with the scoop, and he'll look to put it back in play for the Squires. Good play by Nolan Cruz there. 
Dolan also is the uh, place kicker and kickoff specialist for the football team here in Delone. Does a nice job. Lends his leg uh, across many different sports here. Nice pass into the corner there, but just a little bit too far for Michael Carter. Littlestown puts it back in play. Well, you can see Fernando making, making up ground there. Playing strong defense down in the corner. Squires trying to move it up out of the zone. Just lost it off the foot there. I don't mean a Littlestown throw. Good save there by Holtz. There we go. We like to see that. Uh, so far, I've been impressed so far with the Squires' uh, possession. Their time of possession and able to control the flow of the game so far has been been really, really well done. Nick's coming up with a couple of good saves uh, early on. Going to help boost his confidence as they work their way through the rest of this game. Littlestown brings the ball up. Yeah, Nick Holtz comes out of the goal to clamp that one down and send it back down the field for the Squires. Good pressure there. Squires are going to have to win a lot of those contested balls there to make sure they can maintain possession throughout the game today. Uh, a little tie up there. It's going to stay with Littlestown. So Littlestown's going to go ahead and get a kick. We'll watch the Squires get back into position. Ready themselves. Well played by the Squires. Nolan making a nice... Nice effort there, but just got a little bit too much off of the left foot as it careens out of bounds for a Littlestown throw. All right, we'll get a little bit of a push there, it looks like, on Littlestown, so... Squires will move down the field and on senior night, our senior squire, Fernando Salazar, is going to take that kick and put it in play for the Squires. Well placed, just missed. Just missed header there with Nolan. Just out of the out of play there by the Squires. That means a throw in for the Thunderbolts. If you're just joining us, we're just a few minutes into the opening part of the varsity boys soccer game here on senior night at JT Flaherty Field. The score 0 0 or nil nil as they say in soccer. I'm not allowed to say 0-0. Zero, zero. I need to say nil-nil on the pitch here tonight. Good chase there by Salazar. Just 
out of play there on the Squires, so that'll result in a throw for Littlestown. Over to Ethan. Oh, and he gets a good left foot on it. Gobbled up by the keeper there. And he'll look to put it back in play for Littlestown. Over there on the far side of the field, you saw DaCosta Wibble, who was uh, moving the ball up the field there for the Squires. DaCosta is a sophomore here at the loan. A lot of speed with DaCosta. All right. Oh, just a little too far. Just a little too far. That was good. Angelo was open, but Michael just kicked that one just a little bit too far out of his reach. But well placed. Just a little bit too much. I think he maybe takes a little bit off of that. That could be in the back of the net right now. But here we go. Littlestown looking to put the ball back in play. There's Ethan. Oh, good control. There's a throw in for the Squires. Turned right back around by Littlestown. Ethan brings it up for the Squires. Looking for his next good pass. Oh, taken away by Littlestown. JP turns it right back in. And no one is on the chase. Littlestown just kicks that one out of danger. Out of danger there. Going to give a throw in for the Squires. Looks like JP's going to come down here and give another nice big throw. And I'd look for this one to get pretty close to uh, close to the top of the box. JP can make some nice throw-ins. See where he can get it. Oh, well, he likes to go short. Near post. Oh, and another kick from JP there on a little give back to him. But just, just outside. That's going to mean a... Another goal kick here for Littlestown as they put it back in play with just over 25 minutes left in the first half. Good play by Max to give it back to Fern. Fernando's going to play it up to Angelo. Oh, but defended nicely by Littlestown. Angelo wasn't going to give it away that easily. But that's going to result in a kick for Littlestown. So Delone again will back up and look to play good defense here and another great save by Nick Holes that's three saves now for Nick coming up in the first half that's that's uh, that's uh, again a good start for Nick that is a positive momentum builder for for uh, for you as a keeper you know it's all it's all about confidence sometimes and you start making some saves you can get yourself into a mental place where you can keep that going the rest of the game build that confidence all right out of play by Delone that's going to mean another Littlestown throw in all right a little push from behind on Littlestown that's going to give a kick now over to Delone 
we'd look probably to see. Looks like Fernando might be taking this kick here as well with about 23 minutes left in the first half. And we'll look to put this close to the goal. Oh, and just, just out of the reach, just out of the reach of Braden Gervasi there. So DeLone's going to hustle back. And that one a little too hot off the leg there of Salazar. Means another throw in for Littlestown. Ethan brings the ball up. It's defended, rubbed off the ball there a little bit. And then, oh, a nice center here to Nolan Cruz, who just shoots wide, just shoots wide. But a good look and an onside's play there for the Squires. Now, because that is a shot wide of the goal, that's going to mean another goal kick for Littlestown. They will... Let their keeper go ahead and bring that ball back into play. Nice header by Salazar to turn that one back around. The race is on now. That's number 19, DaCosta. Wivel there showing that speed and that tenacity to try to stay with that ball and maintain possession for the Squires. And there's DaCosta again. All right. Another goal kick here for Littlestown on what is turned out to be a really wonderful fall evening here in McSherry's town. Weather is perfect. We've had a good week all around with that. It really has it's been. It really has been. It's been, a you know, during, during the afternoons, unseasonably warm, but uh, that's been nice come the evening times because it is just absolutely perfect temperatures for enjoying those fall sports. Ball turned back around by the Squires and Littlestown dumps it into the corner and Fernando goes to work and is able to let that ball go out past the goal line which is going to mean a goal kick for the Squires now you'll also see so, so Fernando's going to go ahead and take that goal kick and allow his keeper to stay in the net and he puts it in play all, almost up to midfield where Nolan will head it along. Right. Michael then puts a foot on it down into the corner and lets uh, DaCosta go and get it. Oh, and he maintains possession. Look at that control. Now dumps off to Cruz. Who's going to play it back a little bit here and then over to midfield again. Oh, really nice move there. Really nice move there, but can't get the payoff at the end there. It's out of bounds on Littlestown, which is going to mean another throw in for J.P. Groves and the Squires. And again, headed out of bounds, which will again result in another, another throw in for the Squires. And a big throw there to the top of the box. Well defended by Littlestown. Again, the Squires keeping the pressure on here today. Really nice job so far with just under 20 minutes left in the first half. And we're going to get some substitutions here at this stoppage. Entering for the Bolts, number 19, Jason Wise. Angelo takes control of the ball for the Squires. 
takes it over to the far side of the field where he and DaCosta are going to play back and forth with it a bit. Ethan back to Max. You know, Max, Max Holes there is a, is a freshman playing with the team. He's done a nice job this year coming on, playing varsity as a freshman and playing at a very high level. And I will say as a, as a parent, a uh, soccer parent as well sometimes, it's amazing the, uh, the step up and play when you go from, uh, from a middle elementary and middle school soccer to when uh, you get up here to the to the high school level and the upper upper club levels of soccer it's uh it's a faster tougher game for sure and max has done a nice job so far this year the throw in from jp for the squires oh nicely done but just out of the reach of angelo there as he was looking to take possession and go to the net so that's going to mean another goal kick for Littlestown. Well, Delaney's doing a good job of keeping the ball in Littlestown zone. They really are. They're doing a nice job. Their time of possession, I think, so far, I don't have the stats in front of me, but it would be mostly in their favor, I would think. They've done a nice job controlling. Um, and when they, when they don't have possession, they've done a nice job defending and turning it right back around. So the ball gets dumped into the corner. Oh, with a nice cross there, but no one home for the Squires. And again, get put in play by the Littlestown keeper. So as the Squires back up here and get ready to have this ball put back in play, we're approaching 15 minutes left in the first half. Looked like a little bit of playing from the ground there. And now the play is stopped. And a kick given to the Squires. So on their half of the field here, this is kind of a this is kind of a green light here, I think, for Fernando. He's gonna he's gonna try to put this one pretty close to uh Pretty close to the keeper here and see if his teammates can't bury it in the back of the net here. Kick on its way. And his brother Angelo there and up and isn't able to get ahead on it. But that was that was the kind of right Here's idea. Number 17, Ian so we got another another substitution happening for the Thunderbolts. as their keeper gets ready to put the ball back in play. And again, I'd like to see if the Squires might be able to keep this pressure on for the last 15 minutes of the, of the half and I think uh, maybe wear this keeper down a little bit and maybe, maybe get one in the back of the net here before, before half. JP working it up the field to Nolan. And that's going to be off Littlestown, meaning another throw in. Looks like it's going to be a quick throw in here for Groves. All right. And the Squires continue making some good passes, maintaining that possession, giving themselves some space and some time to make some decisions out there on the field, which is, which is a good thing. Good play there defensively by A.J. Niederer to come up and boot that ball down the other end and deny Littlestown that rush that they were looking for into the offensive end. As the keeper brings it up to the top of the box and puts a boot on it. And the ball goes out into the corner. And looks like that's going to be out on Littlestown. Well played by JP there, and he's going to get his throw now. 
He's going to go right up the side there to Michael, who's going to, oh, looked like that was a really nice play, but Littlestown defended that one nicely. Braden Gervasi there is just relentless. Just relentless. You can see uh, the Littlestown player has him in height by several inches, but I'll tell you what, he doesn't have him in terms of hustle because uh, he did a fantastic job there, not giving up and being persistent in terms of his play on his on his man there. That was that was well done. DaCosta bringing the ball up on the far side of the field, out of bounds on Littlestown, which means is another throw. Angelo will go ahead and take that throw in. AJ again on on defense. It looks like there's going to be a kick for Littlestown here. So interesting to see. Squires are going to wall up here. Make this kick a little bit harder. You can see as uh, Nick Holtz is positioning himself in the net as well to try to make this uh, make this save. Oh, very nicely done. Very nicely done. And it looks like they're giving the goal kick to the Squires here. That's what the call is on the field. That was a little... That was that was borderline. It wasn't. We weren't sure if that was going to be a corner kick for Littlestown or if that was going to be a goal kick for Delone. So they rule that to be out on Littlestown. That's going to be the goal kick for the Squires. Oh, Fernando! Kick is stolen by Littlestown, and another nice save by Nick Holtz in goal. Nice boot down on the other half of the field by Holtz. And Angelo controls for the Squires. Looked for the through ball there to his teammate, but they had to dump it back and try to get, oh, down goes Salazar. And looks like we're gonna get another kick for the Squires as a result of that play. So it looks like Nolan Cruz is going to line up here for a kick for the Squires. And as we see the Squires line up and get ready to break, there is a nice arching shot turned around by the Littlestown Thunderbolts, but Squires not to be denied. Maintain possession, retain possession there. Oh. And out on the Squires is going to mean a Littlestown throw in. Well, that. That cross there falls short for Littlestown. And here comes Nolan up the sideline for the Squires. Oh, and just nudged out of his reach. All right, it's going to result in a kick there for the Bolts. So DeLone's going to have to back up with nine minutes left here in the first half and try to play strong defense here. With the score nil-nil, we need to work to keep this one off of the foot of the Littlestown Thunderbolts here. The kick is in. Oh. And 
in for Littlestown. That was a Nathan Snyder with the goal there, as you hear on the PA announcement. So now I think it's going to be about how do the Squires respond? How can they how can they respond on Senior Night at home? Down one nil. You've had some really nice movement, possession on the pitch tonight. And how are you going to rebound and come back after going down one goal? It's going to be really important that they kind of keep their head about them, and not lose patience. And just out off of the Squires is going to mean a throw in for the Bolts. They've been doing a lot of good things already, so there isn't a whole lot even to change, I don't believe. No, I think they're they're still they can still play their game. I think they still just have to keep themselves calm and be patient and play their game. And that throw was right into the box there, but out on Littlestown without getting it on on frame, so now it'll turn around and be a goal kick now for the Squires. Looks like this goal kick will be taken by J.P. Groves, and again allow his keeper to stay in the in the goal. Ethan plays over to Michael, who then boots it down the field. Hopefully, let Nolan go chase it down. Nolan does a nice job getting his foot on it. And look at that cross right there from Cruz. At the top of the box is Ethan. Oh, and he just misses wide. That was a wonderful cross by Nolan. Then got it back at the top of the box there. And Ethan just missed burying that in the bottom right corner. That was, again, well done. And again, when we talk about how are they going to respond to giving up that goal? That's that shows you that they're not going to they're not just going to turn and and go home right now. So that's that's great to see out of the Squires. All right, and that one is out on Littlestown, meaning a throw for the Squires. Angelo and DaCosta over there on the far side of the field, bringing it up for the Squires. Angelo maintains possession. Over to Ethan, who settles it, surveys the situation, and back to his defense a little bit to play it up the field. And Littlestown dumps it down and out of play, which will result in a throw for the Squires. Fernando throws in to Braden. Surrounded by Squires, that Littlestown player goes down. And here comes the rush for the Squires. Nice through ball there for Nolan, but just a little bit too far. Again, they're going to keep the pressure on here with about uh, four and a half minutes left in the first half. They want to try to even this score before, before the half. Big punt by... The Littlestown keeper giving possession to those bolts. Another white throw. Oh, Littlestown looking for a penalty call there and not to be not to be gotten. And Squires dumping in. Angelo chases. And out of play by Littlestown. Throw in now for the Squires. A 
again. Squires doing a nice job with ball control here in the first half as they kind of pass around and look for their look for those openings. Over to Nolan. Oh, Nolan's got a nice through ball there. Oh, and a great header by Angelo and just again misses. That's three wonderful crosses and centers here from the Squires and they just haven't been able to put it in the back of the net so far. That is just that was a beautiful ball. A beautiful a beautiful header and just goes wide of the post. And here we go, ball back in play. And again, the Squire's going to take possession, turn it right back around, go back down. And again, they're going to try to even up this score here. Down 1-0 with about three minutes left in the first half. I'll tell you what, Coach Austin... Groves and Coach uh, Dan Gervasi really got the team playing well tonight. They are doing a fantastic job out there, and there you don't see a lot of uh, a lot of yelling from the coaches right now, and that, that tells me they're happy with the way the the team is playing. They're just quietly giving pointers, asking the team, and the team has been quite responsive so far. Ethan puts a head on it there, moves it back down the field. And Littlestown dumps two it minutes. back down into the corner two with two minutes two left in the first half. That's out on black, which is going to mean a white throw for Littlestown here. So DeLone's going to back up get themselves prepared for this throw. And throw in, booted out by Littlestown, which is going to mean a DeLone throw. So Salazar into Groves, who punches it up the field. Here's where the Squires need to settle that ball down. There it is. Angelo settles it. Puts it back down the field for Nolan to go chase into the corner. And wins that race for DeLone. That's going to be a throw for the Squires. You can see JP's going to come down and take that throw here with just under a minute left in this first half. So with a big throw here, we can maybe get that equalizer. And JP puts it back at the top of the box and knocked out by Littlestown. Nolan gets a left foot on it. And ball out of play by Littlestown. Just going to meet another quick Squires throw. You can see JP hustling to get that throw in with about 18 seconds left and another throw. And the throw in. Ten, nine, Ethan eight, has a right foot on it. Seven, oh, and eight, just right again. Five, That's two four, shots from Ethan, three, just right of the two, right of the one. net. And that takes us down to the end of the first Good half. The first half. With the score, Delone Catholic three, zero, three, three, and five, Littlestown three, Thunderbolts three, one. So that takes us here to half at JT Flaherty Field. And I think they have had a nice first half. They've done a nice job of really keeping possession, keeping pressure on. And I think uh, Coach is going to have some good things to say to them here at half and know that they're not down by a whole lot. And they, they, can, they can come right back and get in this game and uh, maybe come out of here with a win. Well, they could easily have th three or four goals by now, I think, just depending on the way things were bouncing get a little bit more of your foot on the ball here and there, it could have easily been. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they just played most of the, the half in the Delone, or in the Littlestown end. They had good possession, good passes. They were getting the, the loose balls. Yeah. 
and I think so so often when you're when you're playing this game those 50 50 balls are really important you know and when you get those 50 50 balls can you settle it get it on your foot and start start making your way down into your opponent's end and I the, the Squires have done a really nice job with that so far this year or excuse me this uh, this half and I think uh, that's been something they've been working on this year um, is really really making sure that they can possess and uh, and, and keep pressure on. I will tell you, you know, DeLone, as far as their, their performance this year, has done a really nice job. Their, their record right now is 9-5-1, and one, and uh, they're actually looking for their first District 3 playoff bid here in uh, program history. So they're really looking to make, uh, make kind of a, a significant step forward this year with the, with the boys' soccer program. So, uh, you know, again, I like what I'm seeing here so far, and, and they've been doing a really nice job. And, you know, Fernando notwithstanding, most of these kids will be back next year. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very junior-heavy class, to your, or excuse me, team, to your point. That junior class is, I think we've got eight or maybe eight or nine uh, juniors on the team that'll it will uh, it'll make for a really experienced team next year as well and so I know coach Groves is really really pushing to to make that playoff run this year get get some of that experience and and see if they can't win some games and see how far they can't take this thing and the farther they go this year the more experience they'll have for next year and you know some of those growing pains I think that coach Groves went through with younger teams you might be able to to reap the the rewards from that soon yeah and so often you kind of find that you know with those young teams and that that growing pain that you talk about and maybe losing more than you want to it does build for those players as they get older and as they come up and uh and to become those juniors and senior upperclassmen that you have it really helps them helps them take the take their play to the next level and now you have freshmen and sophomores who are seeing hey this team can compete well, the school has has what it takes and so now they're they're building the confidence for the for the new additions to the team as well so it, it really that that uh, success breeds more success as they say we're gonna flip to a commercial for commercial for a little bit and we'll be back before the second half ready to get going again. all right that sounds great So good. From lining our fields and moving the chains to manning the concessions and driving the trucks, judging our competition and broadcasting events, serving on the committees on the school board, the PTO and Athletic Association, Music Association, and more. Our volunteers. Thank you. Squire Hope. Now, the preparation to be a holy and noble servant leader provided at DeLone Catholic High School. Your Squire Hood starts at the Fall Open House and Scholarship Competition. Prepared to lead, prepared to serve, prepared for life. Join our faith-centered community at DeLone Catholic High School, a school that reinforces your family's Christian values. Our award-winning faculty and challenging extracurriculars promote development of the whole child so that each student graduates prepared to lead, prepared to serve, and prepared for life.
Well, welcome back here to JT Flaherty Field for the second half. They're already starting to go on us. Yeah, we're off and running in the second half here. So we got 40 minutes to finish out this game. It's 1-0. Littlestown with the advantage on senior night here at DeLone Catholic. So that ball's out on DeLone. Oh, no, there was a penalty there. I'm sorry, so we're going to get a kick here. I thought this was a throw-in. It is not. It is a kick for Littlestown. And Littlestown maintains possession. A deflected shot there. Good pressure by the defense, causing that errant shot. Makes for a nice save for Nick Holtz, who then boots it back down the field. Put it in play for the Squires. Angelo settles it down. But loses possession over to Littlestown. And we got ball coming down. A little bit of a foot race here. So... A.J. played nice, pretty tight defense there. But Littlestown maintains possession. Good stop there by Fernando. And Nolan's going to battle his guy to try to m get possession. All right, that's going to be out on DeLone for a white throw in. Gently put in play by Littlestown. And JP moves it back down the field. And those are the kind of 50-50 balls we were talking about earlier. Got to try to get those settled down, move it down the field. Angelo takes possession, looking for some help. Splits two defenders there and looks for a cross. Oh, nice cross there, but no one home for the Squires. That means Littlestown's going to clamp that one down by the keeper and put it back in play. Back down the field it comes. And Michael Carter turning around at midfield over to Ethan and then over to Angelo. Angelo beats his man. Again, looking for a cross here, looking for keeping his, keeping his team on sides. He retreats a bit. And they're going to get Littlestown there for a push from behind. And so that means we're going to have a kick for DeLone. Looks like Nolan's going to take this kick. And this, this is a, a good opportunity here for DeLone to try to even this up. He's going to make sure everybody's in place. You see a wall there by Littlestown. Oh, had some... He got a good foot on that one, had some nice movement, but keeper for Littlestown was there to make the, make the save. And Littlestown comes back down the field. All right, a Littlestown shot wide of the goal. It's going to mean a goal kick for DeLone. So it looks like, again, uh, looks like J.P. Groves here is going to take this goal kick and let his keeper stay in, the, stay in the net. And down the field it comes. Turned right back around by Littlestown. And that's going to be... That's going to be a DeLone throw. Littlestown thought that was out on DeLone, but the officials say otherwise. So that's going to be a throw for DeLone. And there's JP with a nice big throw down the field. And that enables his teammates to go to work down in the offensive zone. And that kick is off the side of the net. 
And it's going to be put back in play by the Littlestown keeper. So now as the Squires are going from left to right on your screen, you're going to get a chance to see some of uh, some of the players like Max and DaCosta who were on the far side of the field in the first half. You'll see them closest to the bottom of your screen in the second half. So DeLone maintains possession. JP has a nice ball down to Angelo there. And oh! Well played there. Ethan had a, got a good foot on it, but Littlestown was there to get in the way of that shot. Max doing a nice job to try to press, keep pressure on, but he's going to have to hustle back now as Littlestown turns the ball back around and just a little too far out of bounds, and that means a throw for the Squires. Michael Carter brings it up the field for the Squires. And they get Nolan and Michael getting tied up over there on that side of the field. That's going to result in a throw for DeLone. Into Angelo, who's going to dump it over to Ethan. Maybe he can get a good foot on it. Oh, and he's going to send it over to DaCosta in the corner. And DaCosta's going to give it back. Oh, and another shot blocked there by... The Littlestown defender. That's going to be a Littlestown throw. Oh, and there is Fernando on senior night coming over to deny that entry by Littlestown. But his kick goes out of bounds, which means a throw again for Littlestown. So they're going to throw and drop back a little bit, reorganize. And well played over there by Braden Gervasi on the far side of the field for the Squires. Almost eight minutes gone by here in the second half. The score still... 1-0 Littlestown. DeLone looking to even up this score. And as we were talking about at halftime, a win here is going to go a long way for the Squires in their pursuit of that District 3 playoff bid here in 2023, which would be the first in program history, something that the team has set their sights on this year, and I know... All the members of the team are excited about the prospect of making that happen. Throw by J.P. Groves. No one there for the Squires. Makes for an easy save for the keeper, Meekin, who's going to put it back in play for Littlestown. Well, I think a playoff berth would just be a sign of the maturation of the program. You know, the coming together and being able to, to rely on each other and expect good things. Yeah, you're right about that. And I, I think this would, uh, we, we talked a little bit about the influence to the to the underclassmen, a, bi a pretty big uh, freshman class. And I know Coach Groves is excited to have hopefully some some more uh, freshman class of, of that size, getting both uh, both physical size as well as, uh, as, well as head count. You know, being able to build up that roster and get some more depth in the program is is certainly an area of focus for Coach Groves. And here on uh, Junior Squires Night here at JT Flaherty Field, I know they were hoping that to see a lot of those uh, middle school students out here interested in uh, attending DeLone and maybe being part of this soccer program moving forward. Ethan takes the ball and over to Michael who gets a left foot on it just wide of the net there he got a little bit of space got a nice shot off but just outside frame so he's going to turn back around and wait for this uh, goal kick from Littlestown hopefully they can turn it right back down into the offensive end and get to work
Well played there by DeLone. And oh, nice, nice ball by Michael there, but DaCosta couldn't, uh, or excuse me, not DaCosta. That was Braden Gervasi over there on that far side. Couldn't quite get it on his foot and wrangle it in. So it goes out of bounds for a Littlestown throw. And Littlestown bringing it down the field, but out of play again. It's going to result in a quick throw for the Squires. JP puts it into play. And good pressure there by, by Max Holes. But out of, out of uh, his control, Littlestown not able to control. There's Max getting, getting some payback there, moving it down the field. Nice rotation here by the defense and middies for the Squires. And a shot easily handled by Nick Holtz for that save. And DaCosta making good plays there in communication with Nolan. And there's a through ball. Oh, just defended at the last second by Littlestown. Denying DaCosta that opportunity. And again, another offensive rush denied by Fernando Salazar. But that kick of his goes out of play, which is going to result in another throw in for Littlestown. That throw, somewhat dangerous for the Squires there, but they're able to clear it. And there's a through and a foot race now. Oh, and the keeper comes out to make a play there and deny Angelo that opportunity. That was a well done, well done uh, foot race there that I think, uh, I think Angelo might have won that one if not for the keeper coming out and making that, that nice play. So Squires take the throw in, and they're going to look to set themselves up in the offensive zone. So here's Nolan Cruz as he turns back, drops to Michael, who's going to look for a play. And there's another, another kick off of Littlestown, uh, which is going to mean another throw for the Squires. J.P. Groves comes up the far side of the field to take that throw. And again, out of play. So I think Littlestown's, Little, Littlestown has some respect here for the Squires and what they're capable of, and they just want to get that ball out of play and have them start over again. So... Ethan making a nice run with the ball there, but not able to get across in front of the net for his teammates. And out of play again for another Squire throw. J.P. Groves on the throw again, settled by Ethan, who then gets a right foot on it and high over the crossbar. And... Going to result in another goal kick for Littlestown. So we'll see if, again, as this ball gets put into play, what kind of determination DeLone's going to have here to turn this ball back around and try to get one in the back of the net here as we reach 25 minutes left in the second half. J.P. Groves handles that ball for the Squires' defense. And out of play for a Littlestown throw. Somebody move. 
So Littlestown's going to put the ball in play here. Well defended by the Squires and moved up the far sideline. Little chip in by J.P. Groves there to Nolan Cruz who controls. Back to Groves who's going to move it across the field. And just out of the reach of Angelo, but right there to offer some more pressure is DaCosta who settles it. Back to Angelo. Oh, nice move by Angelo Salazar there. And over to DaCosta. Wivel who then maintains control despite the pressure from the Littlestown defenders. Well done. Well done there. And the Littlestown defenders wisely just kick it out of the end line there, which is going to mean a corner kick for DeLone. J.P. Groves comes up from the backfield to take this corner kick. And a wonderful ball there. Oh, and headed out of the way successfully by the Littlestown defense. That, that ball out on DeLone. So they will retreat as Littlestown gets ready for their throw in again down the field. So far, the Squires are keeping a, I, I would say, a pretty good energy level here in the second half. Because again, despite being down 1 0, you can see their confidence level is still high, still playing their game. As the ball comes up to Cruz, who has a nice through, but just out of the reach of, of DaCosta. That's going to mean a throw for Littlestown. And Littlestown's going to try to play it back and into the middle of the field, which means DeLone's going to take possession. And they're going to try to maneuver here for another shot on goal. Max takes that from his defensive position over off of a defender into Angelo Salazar's possession. He splits two defenders again. And that is going to be out on Littlestown. That's going to be another corner kick for DeLone. So J.P. Groves comes to the near corner. And he's going to have a chance to put a good corner kick in play here for the Squires. And the kick is in far post shot. Oh, not able to get ahead on it there for the Squires, which means it's going to get put back into play with a punt from the Littlestown keeper. And there's Groves in the backfield. Wrong way trying to make a possession turn for the Squires able to kick it off of the Littlestown pressure there which will give the Squires a throw there's the throw up the sideline out of possession for the Squires and there's Angelo Salazar settling it down. Back to Max, who's able to find DaCosta. Over to the middle where Ethan is just unable to beat his man to that ball there. But not to be denied, Ethan is going to continue to make his opponent's life a little difficult there as he tries to work his way through the middle of the field. That one's out on Littlestown. That's going to mean another throw for DeLone. There we go. Michael Carter with a nice ball up the sideline for the Squires. And that's going to be out on the Squires, which is a Littlestown throw. And Nick Holtz takes that play in the, as keeper. Very nice play by Nolan Cruz there at midfield, but no one home for the Squires to take that kick. 
And again, Holtz comes up to make that play. Close. We had a, he had a Littlestown player right in his face, but he was undaunted. Continued to make that play for the Squires. And you can see the Squires now, again, trying to make sure they can settle that ball, make get possession. And that's going to be, looks like uh, officials are going to say that one was out of play on the far side of the field, which is going to mean a throw in for the Squires. You can see some of our junior Squires working as uh, ball runners down there tonight, doing a fantastic job helping out the varsity game here at JT Flaherty Field. That cross by Littlestown is deterred by the Squires. Ethan and Angelo working together there to turn that ball back around, but out of play off of DeLone, which is going to mean a Throw in for Littlestown. Littlestown puts it in play with a centering pass there. But there's freshman Max Holtz who coming coming to play tonight. Turning that offensive rush back around for the Squires. Nick Holtz puts the punt in play for Delone. And Braden is not able to catch up to that to that punt in time. Ethan to Braden to Michael, who jump dumps it back to JP, who's going to push it down the field. And Nolan's going to go to work there in the far corner. And we can. Ethan's going to take this at the top of the box there. Michael's got it on his right foot with a shot and a save by Littlestown. I'll tell you, Michael Carter's had a nice night tonight keeping, that, keeping the ball on his foot until the very last moment, and he lets a shot fly. Just didn't quite get all of it. I think he'd like to maybe have that one back again because that was, that, that was a prime opportunity. Just didn't get all of it. Squires again battling for possession with Littlestown. And there's a through ball by Littlestown. And Nick Holtz coming over to deny that rush for the Thunderbolts. And again, we talk about some of those good saves Nick had at the beginning of the game, really helping build his confidence, not being afraid to come out and go after that, go after that ball and deny that rush by the Littlestown Thunderbolts. But that's going to result in a corner kick for Littlestown. So Delone's going to set themselves up and get ready for this and next rush. And that ball is up at a far post. And Delone is doing a nice job to get that ball out of the zone. Nolan Cruz puts that one down the other end of the field to defuse that threat by Littlestown with 15 minutes left in the second half here on senior night. Yeah, that was just the kick they needed. It was far and it eventually went out of bounds but didn't go too early. Yeah. Got yep. a lot of distance for it. They did. That was another dump in by Littlestown. Handled by keeper Nick Holtz, who's going to now push it back down the field for the Squires. Nolan Cruz there to body it down and back to Ethan, who's going to then put a foot on it and hope his team can continue to keep pressure on here. And here's Michael Carter again making his presence felt in the offensive end for the Squires. So uh, 
Gentle throw in by DaCosta here into Angelo, who's pushed from behind. And looks like we are going to get a kick here for DeLone. I believe we got to see what the officials are going to call here. Oh, and it looks like we may have an injury on the field here. Angelo's slow to get up. All right, so Angelo's going to get helped off here by the training staff for DeLone Catholic. He's going to come out. They're going to take a look at him, and we will see. Hopefully we will see him back in the game here. But because he's going to come off, that's going to mean we're going to see Will Holt come into the game, number five for DeLone Squires. Will here is another, uh, another freshman who's been making some impact here for the Squires on the varsity team this year. Will's playing both on the JV and the varsity team, doing a really nice job for the Squires this year. So this is going to be a penalty shot here. And it looks like Michael Carter is going to get a chance to even things up here for the Squires. One on one. And he scores! Michael Carter evens up the score here for the DeLone Squires. It is now 1-1 one, one on senior night here for DeLone Catholic. That was a fantastic opportunity that he wasn't going to let get away. That was a wonderful shot and a really difficult position to be in as a keeper. But Michael Carter making the best of that opportunity. Again, we've got just under 15 minutes left here in the second half with a tie game. One all. Goal for the Squires by Michael Porter. Ties in one. Angelo Salazar is up, walking around on the sideline. Looks like he might be coming back into the game here at some point, but Will Holtz is going to stay out there for right now. And we've got a whole new ball game here. This has been, a again, a really great game for the Squires as they've done a nice job maintaining possession, keeping their confidence level where they, they know it should be, and they're doing a great job. Oh, and a turnover in the other end by the Squires. But Nick Holtz coming up big. Coming up big, not letting that get away from him. Getting right back in the net. Making a fantastic recovery play. DaCosta's now on it for the Squires. And a nice play there by A.J. Niederer to kind of move that ball back down the other end. That ball's out of play again. And that's going to mean a throw in for DeLone. Max Holtz is going to take that one for the Squires. And Angelo Salazar back in the game now for the Squires. That ball out to center field where Nolan is on the case for the Squires, but out of play. So now back over to Littlestown. And uh, Nolan again putting that one out of harm's way, forcing Littlestown for another throw in. So Littlestown's going to get themselves ready. As they are in the Squires' end, they're going to look to try to make this one count. But the Squires' defense making sure to make a play here. Oh, and Nick Holtz making another good play. And that's going to be out past the end line on Littlestown, which is going to mean a goal kick for the Squires. So J.P. Groves puts it in play again. 
on the goal kick for the Squires. And there's Angelo Salazar back in the game, pressuring that Littlestown defense. And there's Michael Carter putting it in play. A nice chip shot for Angelo, but just a little bit too far. Just a little bit too far, which allows the Littlestown keeper to come out and make that play and push it down the other end. A.J. Niederer putting the ball out to midfield for the Squires. And a little, a little bit of work there on the far side of the field by the Squires, making it hard for Littlestown, and that's going to be another throw for the Squires. Michael and Ethan with a nice little give and go there as Nolan makes a nice cross for his team and just out of the reach of DaCosta who wasn't able to kind of get that one settled and turn back around. So just a little bit too far. Another goal kick here for the Littlestown Thunderbolts. As the Squires kind of retreat and look to make a make a play here. And they do. Oh, and there was a call there. Looks like they may have called a handball, um, which is going to give the kick over to Littlestown. And they'll put it in play. They will put it in play. I will say that... Uh, in the area, we've had a little bit of a shortage in terms of uh, referee availability. So really nice that uh, that these fine gentlemen are able to help us out and uh, have this game go off without a hitch here tonight. So thanks to them and all their efforts. As Delone moves the ball back down into the offensive zone. Nolan is doing a fantastic job and is taken down by the defender who he had beaten. And so that's going to mean the Squires are going to get a chance here to get this kick inside the box here and see if we can't make something happen. Again, the score is tied at one with just under 10 minutes left to go here in McSherry's Town, Pennsylvania. So we've got uh, J.P. Groves taking this kick and he puts it in play oh and Michael Carter again making a nice play there making life difficult for the Littlestown keeper and that's going to be out of play on Littlestown and ready for another throw for the Squires. Groves is going to come up and take this throw. Oh, no, Coming. I'm sorry, it's not. It's going to be a kick here. They called that and gave it, gave it the kick, so that's going to be a kick for Fernando down into the other end. And again, kind of a loose ball there. A little, little pushing, a little shoving. This ball's going to go over to Littlestown. The officials are going to settle things down here a little bit as we are inside 10 minutes left. And both teams, you can tell, they want this, they want this win. They don't want to come out of here with a tie. Yeah, they feel the time slipping away, and they want to make it most of every chance they can get. Yeah, they're going to... I think they're, they're all going to turn it up here a little bit over the next couple of minutes as the time ticks down. So that is out of play by DeLone, which is going to mean a throw in here for Littlestown from over there in that corner. And nicely defended there by... Fernando Salazar on his senior night here at DeLone. And another throw again in by Littlestown. And again, well defended 
and out of play by Fernando Salazar. So Littlestown will throw in one more time. And again, out of play by DeLone, which is going to have another throw in here for Littlestown. You can see the defense and the keeper for DeLone getting themselves into position. Oh, well done by the defense. And now the ball back out to close to midfield where Ethan and Angelo are hard at work. And Nolan Cruz just a little too close to his defender there as he was looking to take possession of that pass at the middle of the field. That's going to leave a kick for Littlestown here who's going to put it on goal and in. So with six minutes left here in McSherry's town, the score now goes to Littlestown, DeLone Catholic, one. So the Squires have an, another sense of urgency now as they know they're going to have to get an equalizer here to keep this, keep this thing alive. So they're going to look to shake that one off and continue to keep the pressure on their on the Littlestown keeper here as we continue in McSherry's town here on this Thursday evening. Michael Carter with a chip shot down the field for Nolan Cruz, who is unable to oh I'm sorry, that was not Nolan, that was JP. John Paul Groves there, not able to get that one settled up from his backfield position. And the Littlestown keeper puts that in play. And well played by A.J. Niederer to help out his keeper who had had that had that shot bounce over his head just just out of his reach and fortunately the Squires are there playing as a team which is great and AJ was able to kick that one out of harm's way that's going to mean a corner kick for Littlestown and in comes the corner and they get it on the body but not able to get a shot and look Nick Holtz there all over the place going to wrangle that ball and possess it for his team and back down the field. And that one goes out of play for Littlestown, which is going to mean a throw for the Squires. So another little kick over the head from Nolan Cruz, but Turned right back around by the Littlestown defense and out of play. So we'll get another the lone throw here by J.P. Groves. And in it comes. Michael Carter. Good ball handling as he crosses there for his team. Oh, not able to finish there by DaCosta and Angelo. That one comes over here to Max, who's up from his backfield position. And there's a stoppage by the officials. And they're unclear here. Unclear here what the call is. Looks like they're saying that it's going to be a throw for, no, it's going to be a kick. Coach Groves and 
Coach Gervasi are, are exasperated here at what the call is. So we're going to get a kick here for the Squires and a good chance for them to try to get this equalizer. And that kick is up and turned back by the Littlestown defense and back out to Nolan who again sends it towards the goal and saved by the keeper for Littlestown. Some really exciting play so far yeah. these last few minutes. After running around over for over an hour, these, these guys are really <laughs> still energetic. That is, tr that is true. Conditioning is uh, a big part of the, of the game, and you've got to be able to continue to push and continue to play at a high level in the closing five minutes of the game, which is where we are right now. These last five minutes... Your body's tired, but you've got to find a way to dig deep and come out with the result that you want. So Fernando's going to play that over to Ethan, who plays over to Michael, who's going to stop and start against his defender and look to give over to Ethan. Back over to Max, who's going to survey the land. Back over. And J.P. Groves is going to put a left foot on it there. And that's deflected wide of the goal. That's going to mean a corner kick over there in the far corner for the Squires. JP's going to quickly take that corner to get it in play. And, oh, turned away by the Littlestown defense. Littlestown's going to take possession there and move it up the field. But edged off the ball there by Fernando Salazar and turned back down the field for the Squires. Braden's on the case over there. And that's going to be another DeLone throw over there on the far side of the field. JP puts it in play. And again. Getting down close to a minute left. Yeah. You can see the, the quickness in the throws to get it back in play and get that. Oh, and that shot by Angelo is off the right post and out of play. That was so close. That would have been the equalizer there and just a bit too wide. So now it looks like it's going to be a Littlestown, Littlestown possession here as they're going to put the, the th will hold. There was a... I think we just had a yellow card on Nolan maybe. Uh, there was definitely a stoppage in the clock, but uh, not. So it looks like Coach Groves is getting an explanation from the officials right now. Again, with the score two to one, Delone is down by a goal with less than a minute left. Possession is given to Littlestown here as they're going to Look to try to grind out the clock here and come away with the win, but DeLone's got different ideas. DeLone's going to... Oh, okay. So that's that looks like it's going to be a, a DeLone throw now. So that was wishful thinking on the part of the Littlestown Thunderbolts. And the officials maybe are going to think about this some more. And they're going to have a have a conference here with the coaches. Again, always a tough job here for the officials. And they're doing their best to explain to both coaches what the call is. All right, and after that conference, it's going to be indeed be a Littlestown kick from their own end. And DeLone's going to back up and try to quickly gain possession and turn it right back around. Big kick down the field, played by A.J. Niederer over to Michael.
And they're gonna, looks like they're gonna call a push there and give possession back to Littlestown with about less than half a minute left in the game. And again, well, this game will be over when the officials blow that final whistle. Littlestown's gonna look to put this one back in play. And there's Nick Holtz making a nice deflection. And there's Delone working the ball down the field. In the closing seconds, J.P. Groves gets a last shot off. Oh, and just off the outside of the net. A oh, great left foot there from J.P. comes up short. Well, with that, that's the end of the game. Littlestown 2, Delone Catholic 1 here at J.T. Flaherty Field on Senior Night in McSherrystown, Pennsylvania. So and I, I want to thank you, Brandon, for, for coming up here. You're where have they been hiding you all these years? You know, <laughs> just at least your fifth year being associated with school because Joey's graduated. That's right, yeah, <laughs> but, my, my but no, oldest did, yeah. Very great to have you here. I also want to, to thank um, Mrs. Grove and Coach Groves for all of the, the help that they've been giving to us tonight to, to get things on. The, you know, everybody from the officials, this is, you know, official appreciation week for the fall. Um, I want to give a give some respect to them i have a little place in my heart now for officials now that i am one um, i want to thank the the team for a great great play today um, jv and varsity the fans the uh mr uh, rudolph reverend rudolph downstairs for for helping with things tonight as athletic director um, danny doing all the the buttons and and the gizmos um, She's doing us, all the hard work. Yeah, make, it, it, making okay? us look like we know what we're doing. doing all the she hard always work does. Over there. Um, I brought this project home to her, and she's really taking it, taking it to, to new levels. So and thank you're, you. You're there. still here to tell about it. Yep, so that's a yep. good thing. That is a good thing. But well, everybody from Caleb, the uh, the trainer, anybody else who's been helping with things, um, the concessions. Actually, we. Um, had a, we had Tony's uh, ceremonial pretzel today, so we, we, <laughs> we had him in our thoughts. Um, we are going to be coming back Wednesday, I believe. Wednesday for girls soccer. We'll be in the gym Thursday for girls volleyball, and we'll be back out here on Friday for football. So um, we're eating out next week, right? <laughs> that's right. Can't wait. That's a, that's so, a full schedule. So well, thanks very much for uh, having me. And again, thanks. You, you did awesome amazing well i appreciate you having me and uh yeah go squires yeah. thank you and from everybody here at uh the catholic good night everybody good night <laughs>